Hello everyone, it's Monica of Creekside Blooms. In this video, I am going to give you a tour of my tomato seedlings and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to care for them going forward. So let's start from here. So in here I have Money Maker. And in a pot about this size, I have three. In here, I have that sunset. And Dr. Witch is yellow. These are my very favorite beefsteak tomatoes. In here I have cherry tomatoes, Juliet, and uh, gold nugget. I also love the cherry tomatoes. They look so pretty in the planters. I will show you where I put them outside in my containers. In here I have the paste tomatoes. I have San Marzano and the uh, Amish paste. In here I have um, Kellogg breakfast and Kentucky beefsteak. Those are also gorgeous beefsteak tomatoes. And in here I have uh, Sabartic plenty, which is the world's earliest tomato that arrives in 40 to 50 days and in here I have brandy wine. Brandy wine is a tomato that has leaves that look like potato. See they look different than the other tomato leaves. And now uh, I will show you how I transplant them. So in a pot that it's about this size, see how the tomato, it has the stem and the two leaves. The two leaves are the seedling leaves. So uh, what I'm going to do is, and if you look very closely, the tomato stem has those tiny little hairs that if they are in the soil, they change into roots. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pinch the baby leaves. And then I am going to move this tomato uh, seedling in this container that's going to be their home up until they go into the garden. This is the perfect size, the big yogurt tub. And uh, I made two holes in the bottom. And then I give them a stick and I tie it with a twine. But very important, I bury up past the two leaves that I just pinched. So I just leave a tiny little bit of stem right about there. So I just bury the whole stem just so the leaves don't touch the, the soil because if um, water splashes from the soil into the leaves, it could cause them uh, to have diseases. So always, always water your tomatoes without touching the leaves and always have a stem in there that keeps them separated from the soil. And before I forget a very, very important thing, when you move your um, tomatoes in the ground, in your garden after that, you need to do two steps. One is to harden your tomatoes. So even these tomatoes that I have in here, they've been outside because they can benefit, even though I have a really sunny southern window in here, they can benefit from the sun outside and from the movement of the wind to make them stronger. So I take them outside every time when the temperature is over 
13 degrees Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit. This is their lowest point that they can tolerate. If you bring tomatoes outside when the temperature is lower than that, it can cause damage. And the, the way you can tell that they've been in a temperature that's colder than the, what they are supposed to have, you can see that the stems start turning red and purple. So do not put them outside before the temperatures in the night are higher than 13 degrees Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit because they are not gonna like it. If, if you did put them, because it happened to me too, when they can withstand it for a day or so, but cover them. Cover them with something, with frost cloth or with a container or something in the night when it gets really cold. So now let's move uh, this uh, seedling up in this container and then I'll show you how it looks like. So it's all potted up and that's how it looks like. And now I tied it in here and then I will adjust this as it grows higher. And then I will show you when I plant them in the garden. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!